Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way together with Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two other of his disciples. And Simon Peter said to them, I'm going fishing. And they said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? And they answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. And Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus, Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in a like manner, the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We could call this Gospel uh, Breakfast with the Risen Jesus, uh, a very uh, special moment that the disciples cherished deeply. And it's, it's really quite striking that the same miracle that called Peter to discipleship is the miracle that Jesus, the Risen Jesus, uh, showed him and also kind of a sense of uh, you know when they realized it was the Lord uh, Peter couldn't wait he jumped out of the boat in the water and and either probably swam to shore uh, and I guess in many ways that that really is an expression for us as modern-day disciples that we want to be close to the Lord, the risen Lord Jesus. And we want him to feed us. Thus we come to the table of the Lord. Thus we are fed, we are fed by his body and blood, risen body and blood. Let's pray that we may truly come to know him, to love him, to serve him, and to witness to him.